Here we go. We're back at the Sunday League. Matthew Snow's the Gold Crease Guardian. Tier 1 Hockey. Let's go. Our old friends, the Beavers, coming back for another one. Four-team league. We play the same teams a lot. Gets kind of interesting after a while. We are, I think, undefeated against these guys right now. And we're battling for the second seed in the playoffs in the A League over here. So we want to get this win, maybe try and see if we can bump up in the standings a little bit. Couldn't hurt at all, for sure. Good stop here and kind of a bouncing puck. This is really nice just coming over, sealing up. Um, I'm starting to feel natural and very, very normal in my new pads. The adjustment's been pretty quick. The glove is the hardest part, especially for puck handling, actually. I've started to get used to catching with it. It's puck handling that's kind of the issue. And part of that is that rings off the post. Goodness, I don't know how that didn't go in. Um, part of that is actually, I now have to go back to my old sticks, my RM1s, because my RM2i broke, and so now I've got to deal with that as well. But, you know, it happens. Good goal here. Uh, coming off the turnover, ripping a shot, and then just burying the rebound. This line was all over it all night long, actually. They looked really good, and um, they, were, they were pretty happy with it, to be honest with you. Nice move by him to get into the slot, and then a good save. That hit my defenseman's stick. Actually made the save a little bit easier, and I'll take it. Oh, we got hops. There we, look at how high off the ground I am. So much athleticism in that jump. That is another post, and this one hits me and comes right down as well. That's one on each end for the teams. That one's a hard crossbar. I didn't get over far enough, but um, I'll take it. That is a really nice save. Over on my feet, driving into that puck. I mean, it's still a one nothing game. This is a great first period of action for me. Played really well. The team played really well to get the one nothing lead. And I mean, anytime you can get that, it feels really good. And it feels like a real hockey game when it's only one nothing instead of the track meets that some of these beer league games can turn into. Whoop. And one more. Ooh, fancy hands for a shot that missed the net. Oh my goodness, again. Look at this, spin off of him, walk him, walk him. And one time he misses wide. A lot of, a lot of good hands work for not a lot of offense created. And uh, a couple of good saves here by me. This one hits the shoulder, second one right off the pad. Um, good positional save on the second one. Just the first one hitting me in the shoulder is hard to control. Would have liked to have done it, but that happens. Great stop getting out there. And you can hear my old teammate from Adrian telling me as much. I was, I was really happy with that save. To beat it on my feet, to make the blocker save and control it, that's all you can ask for in that situation. Whoa, baby. I talked about this line being just on it this night. This is a great example. Three on three, you drop it back, go low, and then look at Steve, find the space, get that puck on that quick, and right through the five hole. Just a beautiful play. Um, that kind of passing play is 
textbook. And it's just smart hockey to get to those spots. This that same line looking for another play. That one just didn't get on net, but they were moving the puck like that all game long. I figured I'd, you know, let them have a little bit of a little bit of a ego boost off of this because it was it was really good. I talked about my RM2I being broken and I did not realize how much the shaft of the stick made a difference until I went back to my old sticks. It just feels way different. It just does. This is a really nice save. Holding my feet here, I, he had options, but holding my feet gives me the chance to either beat a play on my feet or make the save squared up to him. And then the second one, I didn't see it. It ducked down and hit me in the shoulder and I did not see it at all. It was just a good positional save. But by being patient and waiting on my feet on that net drive, I gave myself a chance to uh, make a really good save. And I did. So, I mean, that's all you can ask for. There's that same line again, connecting, little cut back after the pass, tuck it on the backhand, 3-0 with a late second period goal, almost got another one off the post there, and um, that's really, really good for us going into the third period. Again, this feels like a hockey game. The last couple with these guys have been kind of low scoring when you consider beer league, so that's always a nice feeling as a goaltender. and. I've got a shutout into the third period in an A-League game here. That doesn't happen very often. Ooh, that rebound could have gone a little bit better, but that's okay. This one also could have gone better and there goes the shutout. So this one comes through. I just go down to try and make the save and now you can see he's wound up. I know he's ripping this high and it's rolling. So I try and get up and I kind of, you can see my shoulder and my chest are facing away from that puck, kind of facing the sidewall. That's just my body not being in the right spot. Now it's three to two, so, or three to one rather. And that's fine. We're still up by two. We're playing a solid game. Maybe we can get another one, stretch this lead out again. Oh my goodness, that was a dangerous puck handling play. Did not keep that on the wall, and I needed to. So I got really, really, really lucky. Good job by my defenseman. Ah, oh, crap. Three to two. Um, so this one sits down on the back of the net. You can see I'm not really in a great RVH, and you, as I go over here, I missed the post and now I'm coming back out in a non-controlled way. Glove is facing down, I'm not on it. And it's three to two, back to the drawing board. Um, one play, one shot, one save, keep that in mind. Let's lock this down and get the victory. Ooh, another good save on a net drive. Just holding my feet again, forcing him to make a decision. He shoots it right into the blocker. I mean, if I'm gonna keep doing stuff like this on these plays, I am super happy. Just like with this one on the four on two, beat it on my feet, catch it in the chest, no problem.
Ooh, that is about as hard a crossbar as you're going to see um, up and out of play. I'll take it. Anything that keeps the puck out, that one's lucky. Got to catch that first one, but I'm in position for the second one, so that's good. Just would have liked to have held that puck the first time, not even give up the dangerous second chance. That's something that really, really elite goalies do very well. Let's freeze this puck, let's start over. First one, another really good save in tight. Second one, he elevates off the side of the net. I think I would have been fine. And now getting up to my feet, find this puck through traffic. He was trying to tip that puck. I think he got a stick on it as I caught it. So getting that hand out in front of me was key to make sure that that puck wasn't redirected on net. And that's something that all goalies can take a little cue from just to do the little thing and get the whistle by being aggressive with your hands. Man, they've started throwing everything on net here, and it's not gonna matter. We're gonna get another one here. Four to two, late in the third period. Just blows it by him, and uh, great shot, great goal. Two goal lead restored. Now we just gotta hang on. Oh, there he goes, empty net, let's do this. What a stop. Uh, Save on the point shot right off of my defenseman stick. Right to their player. Great pad save. Love that. He just tried to get that on that quick, and I happened to be in good position. Take that all day. Oh, my. This is... <laughs> this was the most frustrating play. Oh, my goodness. He tells me that we're trying to win. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to score a goal, man. Come on. Call for this puck from Will. One time it knocks it right out of the air. I'm not sure 100% if this is going on net or if this gets down there, but I mean, that looks pretty good. And their guy was curling the other way. I'm a little upset about that. What do you guys think down below? Let me know. I think I got robbed of a possible goal there. And I might not let Jay forget that for a little bit. <laughs> good win though, really good win. Man, four to two victory, 50 saves for the second straight game against those guys actually, and 4.08 goals saved. Just a great performance. Really love that. What I don't love is my own teammate knocking the puck out of the air when I was shooting for the empty net. Come on, man. We're, like, this is our better league. So we take, like, it's pretty competitive. But I still want to have fun. I still want to go for the goal. Like, I thought I had it. But, um, I don't know. That's something that I've, you know, I've already scored a goal, so that's good. It's not like it's something I've never done. Just would have liked to have seen that chance played out. Either way, it was a really, really good game. And I look forward to the next one. Hopefully we get these guys in the playoffs just because it's a great game every time. We'll see. There's only a couple of games left in both leagues before playoff action begins. So please, if you have not already, head down below, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading videos. Gonna be great, gonna be a great finish in both leagues for the Polar Bears and I'm really excited to bring it to you. So I'll see everybody next time.